Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thanks for joining me. I'd like to start the video by hoping that you and your families are healthy and safe and that through this unprecedented time, at least through my lifetime that we're living through, that we're both and all of us going to come through it okay. So let's get into the video, which is a follow-up to the first impressions that I did not too long ago, and you will find a card on your top right of your screen taking you to the first tabletop review on the Shield Arms S15 15 round mag for the Glock 43X and the Glock 48. On the table we have the Glock 48, and on that first impressions it was strictly a tabletop. And what you're going to see in this video is actual range footage of me using the S15 mags in my Glock 48. Now this is not a stock Glock 48 and it has been safety checked several times. Um, for the most part, well, as you can see, it has the Talon grips. So thank you for Talon for sending the grips. And I'm, I have a video coming up on the installation of the, on the Talon grips. But it also has the Terran Tactical Grandmaster spring kit and connector. So those are the modifications that I have on this Glock 48. It's pretty amazing to look at the table and you have 15 plus 1, 16 rounds in this thin Glock, which make, makes it pretty amazing, comfortable to carry. The two mags that you see on the table, the S15s, I have them separate. Uh, I wrote down in the bottom M for MD Polo and A for Alaskan Ballistics. So I want to give a big shout out to Alaskan Ballistics for sending this in and uh, that was very very gracious of him and generous. So thank you very much. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Alaskan Ballistics. He has some great footage, lots of knowledge and fantastic scenery. So let's get into the video. What are we going to do today? We're going to see range shootage, uh, footage shootage. Maybe that's another gun term since we tend to make up gun terms all the time. We, we shot some spear gold dots. Sorry about the reflection. We did the Fort Scott munitions, both the 115 grain and the 80 grain. We also did the six hour V Crown P36, I mean just 365 optimized for smaller guns. And we shot Federal Premium HST. We shot a mixture of 124s, 115s, 80 grain, and as, of course we also shot some regular ball ammo, range ammo, and that was the SMB 115s and the uh, Blazer 124. So let's get into the video. We'll roll it in. All the ammo that you see on the table shot very well. The only issue that I had was with the Fort Scott with the spear tip of the bullet getting stuck under the feed ramp and you'll see that on the video. But to be fair, that happened twice, but it happened with the same within the same box of ammo. Later on, I shot more Fort Scott with a spear tip, both 115 and 80 grain, and I had no problems. So there you go. To give you a quick look, this is the original OEM mag from Glock. This is the 10 rounder. I wanted to show you how it looks in the gun. And then if you put in the S15, pretty much the same. That's, that's what makes this so amazing. They keep using the term game changer, but I think we are there with Glock. So anyway, without further ado, once again, thank you to Alaskan Ballistics for sending this mag in and let's get into the range footage. Thank you again. I'll put a note down in the description as to the different timelines when we shot what, if you want to skip around and a little bonus at the end of the video. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. 
Hey we guys, go. MD Polo here at the range with a Glock 48. And as you know, we've been testing the S15 mags for the Glock 48, Glock 43X, the 15 rounders. And everything was going fine with the ball ammo, regular range ammo, until I started using my normal carry ammo through it, which is the uh, Fort Scott munitions, 80 grain, of course, nine millimeter. And the, I started to get double feeds with the tip of the bullet getting stuck under the feed ramp. Now, I'll try to put a picture on it right now, although the picture, the photo itself wasn't very clear because it was taken out of a video. But that's what's going on, and it made me a little leery about carrying the 15 round if my regular ammo will not feed through it. It happened more than one time. So what I'm going to do today is run a couple of more rounds of uh, the Fort Scott, but both in the 80 grain and the 115 grain. But I also brought regular ball ammo to run through it again. And we're also going to be running through some uh, hydroshocks through it and see if I can get it to choke again or to cause more problems. I'm hoping not because I had high hopes on it. So I'm going to start loading up and be back with you. Okay, we're back. So we got the Glock 48 and we got the S15 mag loaded with regular ball ammo. Sorry about the focus there. And uh, this is 115 from Blazer. So let me try this. We're just gonna show that we have function, that it works, and uh, then start loading some of the other stuff. Now, it didn't lock open, but I think that was me. So let me load up the, the mag with my carry ammo, and we're gonna do first the 10 rounder that comes with the Glock. The, with the Glock. So we're gonna establish that it works with my carry ammo. Hello everybody, Andy Polo here. It's a bit loud, we're on the indoor range on a Friday morning, so a lot of people here. But I'm going to put some rounds for the S15 mag for the Glock 48, the 15 rounder for the Glock 48. And carry ammo. We've got a lot of the ammo, both 124 and 124s, on a variety of manufacturers, but I haven't shot the gun yet. So today, I brought the, which is my main carry ammo, which is the Fort Scott Munitions 80 grain. We're going to be putting this through it and see how it goes. Go ahead. And we have failure to feed. <laughs> Able to clear it. So it's interesting, you can see where the bullet, the tip, you see where it hit. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick this up. It got actually 
actually stuck under the feed ramp. You can feel the orientation. The camera's picking up. It's not the best one. doesn't like that pointy tip. Let's try this. Open. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we're back to the second mag. I'm going to put through the Glock 48 with the uh, 15 mag. The 15 mag for Glock 48 and Glock 43. And we're trying the Fort Scott Munition 80 grain. Had the first failure that I've had with these mags came out of this. Now, and it was the tip of the bullet on the feed ramp. Uh, first time that's happened, and I have not had any of those issues with mags, and um, so we'll see. That's what they are. They practice some rounds, shoot some rounds through the uh, your carry rounds for things like this. Let's try it again. Seems like either these rounds or the the mag just does not work. I'm sorry. That's really difficult for me to get you with the light. See in there. So let me try to clear this up. So we got the original Glock 10 round mag loaded with the Fort Scott Munition 80 grain on the 10 round mag. And we're going to see it, it ran it fine before. We'll see. Make sure it still does. Locked open, shot it fine. Now we're going to load the S15 with my Fort Scott 80 grain. So here we go. We got the S15 mag. And I just have five with the Fort Scott 80 grain. Ready to go. Worked fine that time. So here we go. We got now 10 loaded of the Fort Scott and we'll see how it goes. Now it didn't lock over again with the S15. I'm going to have to check in the video and see if it's me. Sorry, I'm forgetting which hold. I need to look at the video and see if it's me writing the slide lock or um, or if it's something caused by the mag. 
following me. So, so far it hasn't choked on it. We're gonna run some 115 grain of also the Scott in a bottle. Okay, we've got the Glock 48, and we've got, this time, we've got 15 rounds loaded into the S15 mag, and that is uh, the 115 grain. Sorry about the lighting, it's playing havoc here at the range with the white balance in the background back here. But anyway, we're gonna try the 50, 115 grain Fort Scott. See how, how it likes it. Fifteen rounds locked open. So far, so good. Now we're going to try uh, fifteen rounds of the Hydroshock. Okay, we're back. So now we've got fifteen rounds of Hydroshock, and there's been some reports in uh, in some pistols where a little silicone tip or the insert that the bullet has. I'm not exactly it is I probably should have researched it before um, that it tends to talk in the feed ramp so with the issues that we have with uh, Fort Scott plus I'll be back in this two weeks. I'll be in, uh, see if we can have any issues or if it's going to continue to run like it's got done today No problem so far. Good. Let me load, load uh, ten, more, ten more that I have, and we'll go. So here we are one time, and this is going to be actually the last one today with a Glock 48 and the S15 mag. And we have the last bit of ammo that I have from the Hydroshocks. I'm pronouncing the name not a, please uh, in the comment section. So we've shot a box of this. We've shot a box of 80 grain, and we've shot a box of Scott 115 grain. And so far, so good, no problems. And once again, I apologize for that quite balanced hot spot, but not much I can do. Here we go. Glock 48. And the S15 mag. Again, locked open. Bit more info. Apologies for that. Lock, lock, locked open. Gun is empty. Today, no problems whatsoever. So I can't tell you what happened uh, during the time we did a couple weeks ago, where it just in the Fort Scott. Ran out of ammo, and actually a lot more ammo this time. No problems whatsoever. So I'm liking this S15 mag. 15 rounds, Glock 48. That's pretty darn sweet. Thank you for watching and until next time, God bless.